Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I will share on how to transform a photo to a dot mosaic. So let's go. First, let's start by duplicating our photo. Next, rasterize and trim it. We now need to get square blocks for the dots. We can do this by using the pixelate filter. Find a value which works for your image by changing the quantization value. In my example, a value around 24 works well. In order to make sure the dots will fit nicely, round this value to a round number without any digits. So I will enter manually 24. Once the image is pixelated, we should have blocks of 24 by 24 pixels. The next step is now to create the dot in order to do this, let me zoom in until I have a nice block in view. Let's draw the dot by adding a rectangle of 24 by 24. I can check the dimensions in the transform panel to confirm it is indeed 24 by 24 pixels. Sweet! Time to create the dot by adding a circle and positioning it in the rectangle, making it a size of also 24 by 24. The idea is that we are going to create a mask later, and for this I want the circle to be white and the rectangle black. Let's group the shapes and rasterize it to a pixel layer. I need it to be rasterized because I want to create a pattern layer from this. This can only be done from pixel layers. As I have my pixel layer ready right now, I can use the layer New Pattern from Selection Menu Item. Awesome! The pattern is created. The next step is to create a mask from this. An easy way of creating a mask is loading a color channel into a pixel selection from the channels panel. Do not forget to press the refresh icon so we will see all colors again before we continue. The ants are marching everywhere. So let's select our pixelated layer, press the mask button to create a mask from the selection and finally hit command D to help out the ants go home. If we zoom in, you can see the mask is out of sync. Probably also for your image, this will be the case. In order to align the mask, let me hide the original layer and add a fill layer with black. Let's zoom in further and align the mask so that each box of color fits in the circle. And then we are done. Let's zoom out to see the final result. Looks amazing. To further enhance the effect, we can add some effects to the layer. First, we can start with a bevel and emboss. From the effects panel, let's click on the cogwheel to open the advanced bevel and emboss properties. Set the Highlight Blend Mode to Multiply. This gives the shine we are looking for. Next, play with the bevel settings until you have a cool effect you like. For example, you can change the profile and get kind of a Lego effect. Feel free to experiment. Another optional effect could be the inner glow. Make sure the blend mode is set to multiply and select black as the color. Again here, feel free to experiment until you have a cool shadow in the dot giving more depth. You can further enhance your image by applying adjustments. Like in this case, I'm using a vibrous adjustment to make the color more vibrant. Before I leave you, let me show you how easy it would be if you wanted to change the base image. From the stocks panel, I will import a car photo by searching for it and then dragging and dropping it on my canvas. Once I'm happy with the position and size, I will rasterize and trim it. Sadly, the pixelate filter is not a live filter, so we always need to apply it with the same settings. So in this case, make sure the quantization is again 24. 
Two steps to finish. First, copy or move the mask to the new pixelated layer. And the second step is to copy the effects, which can be done by copying our first pixelated layer and then selecting the new layer and using the Edit Paste Effects menu. This will only paste the applied effects from the copied layer. There we have it. Pretty easy, right? I hope this was fun and informative and thanks for watching.